rips the front door off the hinges and walks right in. But she says, that's nothing. You ought to see us come through the roof. Married seven years, Larry and Linda Stover. She told us that her husband was quite the handyman around the home. As a matter of fact, he walks under a black cloud of doom. Anything he touches breaks, falls apart, or disappears. She says he once brought home artificial flowers. The next day, they all died. Married 17 years, Fred and Gloria Mountain. Welcome to the anniversary game where we're trying to find out if a couple gets to know each other better the longer they've been married. You've met our three couples. You're not keeping your part of the agreement. Each wife to predict what her husband will do and then vice versa. Let's we never discussed anything, anything about television. Booth, please close the door so we can't see nor hear what's happening out here. Has your husband I should have kept my job. Miss Blanchard might have been a little strange, but at least she talked all the time. Please visit me. I'm in the bedroom. Your wife, Jenny. Please take a look over here. We have over here, as soon as we get the curtain to move, three things which I'm sure you're going to be terribly interested in. You have to play that damn thing every morning? Yes, I do. I like to hear a little noise when I wake up. We have three eggs over there, my dear. Look, Jenny, if this marriage is going to work, we, we have to stick to the agreement. Now, you just look at me sometimes. Jenny, look, I, I, is the hard -boiled egg. I feel a and growing affection for you. Eggs. No, not on me. <laughs> I feel certain loyalties, too. Not on you, but it's okay on the husband, right? Oh, yeah. It's terrific. It's all right. The people I knew before we met. It's just that I feel we're drifting apart. Oh, Jenny, come on. That's not where it's at. Well, then why do you always have to have people here? You're perfectly entitled to have your friends over anytime you want. You're my friend. I haven't got a case. What the hell does she have to do with it? I don't know. You tell me. For Christ's sake, Jenny, Kay's been very nice about this. A hell of a lot more understanding than you're showing. Oh, yes, I think he would. Because she's your friend, and I'm not. Okay. <laughs> you like her. You may wonder why we're going to put you in this protective clothing. Do you I can't that? just change my life like that. Fly in the face? Well, right. He's your friend, too. But something almost as good as a fly It's not the same. Oh, come on, Jenny, come on. You know, so Let's get it, cut it out. I noticed. Yep. Look, Jenny, we agreed to be married. Now, don't try to turn it into something else. Shit! Now, what the hell is that doing there? I'm falling all over the furniture, Jenny. I don't know where it goes anymore. Dale. Dale, do you want a divorce? marriage to work. I just can't be turned into one of those ladies who nags and makes everything difficult all the time. I agree with the whole idea of buying black. Sure is wonderful, though, the way it worked out. I mean, the way everything just timed out so perfectly. What's happening? Oh. oh. Do we have any chocolate cake or anything? Jenny, he's getting so bored. It shouldn't. Black should buy black. Well, what if, well, what if... Does anybody got any salami or any cold meat? I really like coming over here. Everything is so relaxed. Jenny. Balance. Jenny. Well, yeah. You all right? I'm, I'm a white balance. Yeah. Any of those chocolate marshmallow things or anything? 
based on your white standard. Of course. But is the standard valid? If the drain is and the, f and, and the channel flow through which it's funneled, yes, 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 yes. She touches you straight through your skin. Are white. She always knows just where to begin. Can I tell you something? She you reaches know. out, Which then means, she I settles in. I happen to have a black dog. She's the queen. She's the queen. She's the queen. Excuse me, could, uh, do you mind if I, I sit down here? Uh, are you waiting waiting for someone, a, a friend or someone? Because if, if the seat's free, I, I wouldn't mind sitting here. I just walked all the way from the Empire Hotel. Yeah, it's quite a hike. Broadway and 63rd Street. Yeah, a nice brisk walk. Did you know that walking is the best exercise in the world? Yeah. You're a very pretty young lady. A very pretty young lady. Very pretty. Oh, now listen. If I should get out of line, you just say, Fred, you're stepping out of line. You know what you do that I like? Listen. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is Frederick Callahan. They couldn't get it all on the card, so they just wrote Fred. Oh, what a big folk. Uh, I'd like a Ryan ginger, large Ryan ginger. Ginger. Double. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? 
Jenny. Jenny. Oh, that's a nice name. A warm name. Very nice. I'm from Cleveland. I'm here on a barber's convention, international, from all over the world. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, could I ask you a favor? I mean, I... I don't know anybody in this town, or a couple of barbers, but uh, I thought maybe we could... Wouldn't be any hanky-panky, Jenny. It's just that, well, I like you, and I like talking to you. And thought maybe we could go and take a little walk and get a bite to eat. Be a real treat for me, Jenny. Uh, okay. Lady? Mm -hmm. 